Uh... <laughs> oh, cool. It's a Dan Electro. <laughs> <laughs> It's brand new. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's pretty awesome. Do you want Seventeen is upon us, and as you can see, I've had a very exciting holiday. Enter. The Dan Electro DC-59 mod with the NOS Plus pickups. I got this as a gift from my mother. It's in the classic copper color that Dan Electro has made all these years. Uh, originally, this guitar would have probably been called the 3012, I would imagine. Uh, and uh, has the Jimmy Page mod, which is like a uh, kind of a badass style bridge. As you can see, lipstick pickups. Uh, back in the day, these were made out of real lipstick covers uh, that Dan Electro sourced from uh, a cosmetics company for cheap. Some uh, some brief history on Dan Electro. Uh, started building guitars in 54, originally retailed for around $69. These guitars are made out of, uh, they have a wooden frame, masonite back and top. Poplar is the wood choice for the neck and the frame inside. And rosewood fretboard, occlusion tuners, lipstick pickups, concentric stacked knobs. The top one is the tone knob, and the bottom one is the volume. It's kind of um, kind of a pain sometimes. Three-way switch here. This kind of uh, vinyl uh, tape that has kind of almost an ostrich pattern to it, if you can see that at all. Interesting sounding guitars. Really cool for roots music, country music, rockabilly, anything that's kind of funky. Also, a decent rock guitar. Most notably uh, used, uh, I would say, by Jimmy Page. Other owners and users of the Dan Electro. Hendrix. The, the list could go on and on and on. I've seen everybody hold these guitars from Sid Barrett to Eric Clapton to uh, Fat Mike from No Effects. Uh, that's a bass, by the way. Uh, copper in color, though. Uh, Niels Klein, Glenn Campbell, Mike Campbell, uh, Cooter, Elvis Costello. Really, the list goes on and on. Fogarty, or Gallagher, George Harrison, uh, Mick Jagger. Uh. Most importantly, I believe Jimmy Page is the is the real torchbearer when it comes to the Dan Electro. If you've ever seen White Summer or uh, I've seen him play Heartbreaker on a Dano, Cashmere. He used a, a black one that was very similar to this with this, what they call a seal pick guard and a badass bridge. He did, didn't always have that bridge. It actually came later. Um, when you see him at, you know, the concerts and stuff, it generally has the stock bridge, which has like a little piece of wood. It's a cool bridge too. Yeah, that's pretty much the deal with that. It's a cool guitar, very unique sound. Super glad to have it. Rocking this kind of old school leather strap. Think it looks good with it. I'm going to do a little bit of maintenance on this thing. I'm going to clean out the nut slots, make sure there's no burrs in them. Just have an aluminum nut. It, you can hear it kind of, it's, it's creaking. I'm going to polish these frets up and the setup on this thing was pretty much perfect out of the box. I think it's important to note that you don't have to have a incredibly expensive guitar to have a very cool sounding guitar. Uh, tone is subjective and um, 
you know, these old funky, you know, Dan Electros and Supros and Silver Tones, all totally legit instruments, even if they're not uh, many thousands of dollars. As a matter of fact, you can get a vintage Dan Electro, which probably doesn't play as well as this one, for a thousand dollars. Plug it in, let you hear it. Hopefully, you're probably already hearing it. Last week, I blew up the basement amp. When I started to investigate what happened, I realized that it had a few problems that I did not realize. I'm going to try to rectify those problems today as well as put some new tubes in. So as you can see, some of the glue is letting go on the back of this basement panel. Um, what I'm going to do today is take some super glue, super glue gel in particular, not regular super glue. It has to be the gel. Take that and a pencil with a good eraser on it. And we're going to glue all this stuff back to where it looks good again. <clears throat> We got the super gluing done, and as you can see, everything is glued up, and the back of the amp looks like it's supposed to. Uh, the replacement tubes that I bought are from the Tube Amp Doctor, and they are 6L6 WGC STRs. Who knows what these actually are? Because their branded tube amp doctor. That said, according to this, it says all tubes individually tested. This tube passed our test. Plate current amplification, shorts plus leakage, low noise, low harm, low microphonics. They've been shock tested and listened to. I don't know. Yeah, tube amp doctor. TAD. That's what they say. These tubes have a, I believe it's a six month warranty. That is correct. Yes. So we're going to put the back.
back plate on, plug it in, see how it sounds. Mm -hmm.